Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so we've actually already uh, played through this part, but the game crashed. So I decided I would just start again. Um, so we're here. Uh, we want to get into this harbour here. So we're going to go for that. And I am not going to spoil the surprise because I now know what's in there. Um, but I'm kind of hoping it goes as swimmingly as it did before. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'll be back in a minute and hopefully the game doesn't crash again. Hey guys, so we've moved a little bit. We're a bit closer. So we were kind of up here. But just check out the destroyer coverage here. It's unbelievable. So I'm kind of hoping there's something good in here. I know there's something good in there if the game remembers or not. I don't know. But I don't know what's up here in Blythe. And I'm wondering if this dis destroyer screen is for that port and not this port. But anyway... <clears throat> we'll get in there and uh, we'll see what we can do. We're going to have to surface the boat because of the CO2 in the battery levels. So I'm going to do that just now. Um, but it is comes 20 to 9 and it's October. So it's dark. So that's in our favour. Um, and hopefully we can sneak in. Position ourselves probably come in here and then we'll do a little bit of a turn just so we're kind of facing the harbour um, for easy shots because I don't want to get caught by all these surface ships so let's get up top have a quick look see what we're dealing with um, God, that's so loud All right, let's go up, up we go it's nice and dark okay so it's dark it's not cloudy, which is annoying. It's not very choppy either. It'd be better if it was choppier. Uh, let's get on the binox. See what we can see. It's quite misty though, so hopefully we'll be okay. I mean, I can't even see the escort that's down here. So I'm think Ah, there it is. There she is through the mist. So her engine's on, but she's not making a lot of steam, so... Um, tempted to take out some of these escort vessels but the tonnage just isn't there you know so we're better off getting into the harbor so guys i'm going to come back to you uh in a couple of minutes and hopefully we're set up for some easy kill hey guys so we're in the harbor um i'll quickly go to the map so we managed to sneak around um and get in here which is great there's two vessels there um so let's have a look there's what looks like a let's look up it looks like a troop carrier and then away over here there's a funny angle on this boat so it's hard to tell oh no that looks like a tanker maybe small tanker maybe ten thousand tons but this troop ship i'm interested in because troop ships are big they're generally twenty thousand plus so I don't know how many torpedoes are going to sink this, but I think I might just fire a salvo of three or four just to finish it in one go. Um, so let's get on the binoculars. And let's lock it up. Uh, let's turn that off. Trip transport. That's definitely not that. It looks a lot like this, though. Whoa, 16,000 tons. That is not bad. I think that's it. It's got the two stacks, the little funnels in the middle, goes down. It's got square, well, less than square, uh, stern. It's got a pretty straight bow. Oh, I think that's it. That looks good to me. So we're going to say it's that. Awesome. Uh, we're going to turn that on. We're going to zoom in a little bit so we get some better telemetry. We're not very straight in her, but that's an okay shooting angle. Although we could just straighten up a little bit. In fact, let's do that. Just really want to turn around. Let's get a better angle for firing. A better solution, as they say, in the trade. Speed this up a bit. Uh, more chance of hitting it bang on where we want to because um, I think I'm going to target the middle 
and then I'm going to do a spread. So let's do a salvo with that one off. Full speed, we'll set the depth quite low. We're still moving, which is quite annoying. I don't really want to move. So we'll do that there as we're drifting down her. And we will fire. Torpedoes are away. So hopefully, three torpedoes should be enough to kill this. Hopefully, I'm not sure. Um, it's been a while since we found a troop transport. It's mainly been tankers we've been taking out. Whoa, she is close. Saving now. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's a dead troop transport, I would say. Wow, it looks like it was laden with ammunition or something. Whoa. Uh, right, let's have a look and see if that's registered. Oh, yeah. She be dead. Sixteen thousand tons, boys. That's not bad. So now we need to turn our attention to this vessel over here. So let's do a bit of manoeuvring. So yeah, let's let's go up here, here, here. Do a little bit of a circle. All ahead full. And I'll come back to you in a minute, guys, and hopefully we'll sink another. Hey, guys, so look, we've lined up, we've stopped, and there she is. That certainly does look like a tanker to me. So let's get back on the targeting binoculars. Sorry, man. This guy loves them. Uh, okay, zoom in a bit. Pretty sure I know what this is. So let's lock it. Off. Pretty sure. <clears throat> I know it's not one of those. And I know it's not one of these. Because it's massive. And it doesn't have. It's got a different rear end. So I'm pretty sure it's this, a Khmerin class tanker. So we're going to go for that anyway, 7,000, nearly 8,000 tons. Uh, let's turn that on. Now, from experience, these things take quite a lot to sink. So we're going to put four torpedoes into her. I know it might seem excessive, but I want this thing sunk. Fire. So let's watch and see what happens. Hopefully there are fireworks in a few minutes. And there they go, the fish. Just along here. That's them. So there should be fireworks, I think. Should not be long till torpedo impact either. In fact, they look very close already. Yeah. Torpedo impact. Torpedo impact. Torpedo impact. And see, she's not sunk. She is hurt, but she is not sunk. So we're gonna man the deck gun and finish her off. Well, unless that's her dead. Um, and the deck gun. Let's get out of that. No, no, she's not sunk yet. So I'm going to go and direct this deck gun action because this crew cannot be cannot be trusted to deck gun anything without their commanding officer at the moment. We haven't upgraded them enough yet. So um, armor piercing should do the trick. Uh, let's zoom in. Uh, there, that's better. Uh, let's try that. Oh, 
way too far. Put some holes in her. It's very close. Five less than five hundred meters. Oh yeah. So I'm thinking this ship will be sunk very soon. But again, I don't. Re yeah, that's her sunk, which is good because I didn't want to be on the surface for very long, and um, with the deck gun especially because of all those surface ships. So that's half past nine. Show me. Oh no, 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 no! I want to see that. Oh damn it! Did I just? Oh there we go. Yep, seven thousand tons. It's been added. Ship sunk. So. Those were the only two ships in the harbour, guys. So we're going to get on out of here now. Because, you know, I don't want to get nailed by the British Navy. We might try and come out on the um, on the surface, I'm thinking. Put the periscope down for a start. It's been a while. It's amazing how quickly you forget the shortcuts. Um... I don't want that up. That's my dog getting very angry because she is a German dog. She doesn't like this. Well, she should like it, actually, because she's not British. Anyway, uh, let's have a look. Let's see what the battery is like. 25%, CO2 level 0, so we're going to have to try and get out on the surface. Let's have a look at the map. Where are we? So we're there. I really want to go up here to see what's up here. Hugging the coast. Very intrigued as to what's up here. So, let's do this. Just speeding up time a bit, guys, to get going. Um, so, I'm going to... I know we are. So, I'll cut back to you guys, hopefully, once we're in that harbour. And with no sort of nastiness in between, such as British ships. Okay, guys, see you in a few seconds. Hi guys, so there's actually two escort vessels, so we're going to take a pop at this one, and I have one torpedo left, so let's lock it, let's turn this off, and it is a gun at the front, it's probably one of these actually, two stacks, yeah, it's one of those, class B destroyer, so now this is going to be difficult because I need to get the shot correct. So it speeds three. We need to be shooting. It takes salvo off. Uh, we're a bit far away. That's the problem. I really want to take this guy out, but we're so we're a bit just a bit too far away for an accurate torpedo shot. Because remember, you have to match up this number and this number, so that's the line the torpedo will take. I don't know how far ahead. Shit, this guy, and I don't know if he's going to follow the same course as well. So you know, it's difficult to know what to do. Um, in these situations. He's got his light on. But I'm thinking we just continue. Um and hopefully we get a shot on him. We're closing the distance already. So let's see how it goes guys. Let's just see how it goes. But I, I really advise you to pick this game up. I think it's pretty cheap these days but if you like kind of tension, things like that, um, you'll really like this game. It's a lot of fun. So he's turning. Yeah. It's going to be a... I might even 
have to get out and deck gun this guy, maybe. I could probably get him with a deck gun. But then, you know, he, he can shoot me. Don't know which way he's turning. Very slow turn, whatever he's doing. Um, I'm kind of tempted to just have a wee shot at him. He's clearly going that way. Do you know what? I might actually just pop a, have a wee shot at him. I mean, I'm pretty much right behind the guy. Now. And he's turning. Very slowly. I could just go for it. Ah, it's difficult, isn't it? It's difficult. Um, how fast is he going to turn? I don't know. I don't want to waste a torpedo. That's the thing, guys. I really don't want to waste a torpedo. Oh, here we go, though. He's, he's coming around. Um, I'm going to take... I am going to take a shot at him, I think. Uh, and I think I'm going to shoot about... There. Fire... Hopefully, <clears throat> that does the trick. I don't know if it will. It's going to be tight if it is. I'm going to get on the deck gun, just in case. Uh, and I'm going to put some high explosive rounds into him. If this torpedo fails... I really want to kill him. Uh, right, anyway, let's get on the. Uh, uh, where is he? Where is he? Uh, he is. There he is. There he is, Luke. I think the torpedo might, it might hit. It might hit. I'll get some high explosives loaded in just in case. That's that escort here they're talking about, guys. Let me make this a bit bigger. Zoom out a wee bit. Oh, it's so close. If that torpedo hits, it's like one of the best shots I've ever made in this game. Um, I will be very... Oh, my God. It might hit. Ah, oh, might miss. Oh, it's going to run past. I think it is going to run past. So we're. I'm going to put some shots into this guy. Way too far off. That's a hit. Torpedo missed, which is really annoying. That was a miss. That was a hit. Oh, yeah. She is taking damage. Not a lot. Let's get some armor piercings loaded in. For some reason, though, she's not opened up at me again, which is quite weird. Hopefully, this hits, it should do some damage. Quite far away, so it's hard to tell where if we're going to get her in the waterline or not. But shouldn't take much to get rid of a destroyer. I wouldn't have thought. I wonder if we can get her right in the ass. Be good to take out a running gear. Not too, too short. 
let's try that. Too long. She's closing. She is closing on us. That was a good shot. So they either want to get their running gear or you just want to get them below the water line. <coughs> it's quite hard to do at this distance. And because she's quite low to the water. I know the torpedo missed me. Thanks though. I am aware the torpedo missed. Well, they're quite helpful. At least they keep you informed, you know. Oh, that was nearly right on her. Right on top of her engine room, that. There we go. We're hitting her again. Don't know how badly we're damaging her, though. We are hitting. Uh, I think the blooming damage button has definitely worked this time. I've been trying to get rid of it for long enough. Oh, that missed. Don't know what happened there. A bit odd. Oh, she's running. Running scared. It's quite odd for a destroyer to be running. zigzagging a lot. I wonder if she's quite badly damaged then. Could be. Taking a lot of hits. Um, are they hitting or are they falling short? Oh yeah, that's the hit. Got range on her now. Whoa, that's a bit not good fire. She definitely put some distance between us and her. That's a hit. Right, let's get some high explosives on her. See if this makes a difference, guys. Um, oh, no saving. I just want to see if this one hits. I'm not sure if that hit or not. Let's fire another one. That's miles too high, I think. That looks like more of the... Oh, yeah, that's the range. Right, I've kind of had enough of this. I'm going to do a bit of cheaty camera because I don't know if we're doing any damage to this thing. Let's go and have a look. Cheaty, cheaty camera. I mean, is she actually taking any damage? She doesn't look like she's taking damage. Underneath? Any holes underneath? No, uh, not that I can see. So I don't know if we've actually done anything to her, even though we've hit her a few times. There's not even damage up here. Where I know we have hit her. How bizarre. Oh, torpedoes in the back. Um, It's really strange. Oh, oh no. No, no damage. What the hell? Oh, it's a glitchy game. Have a look on this side, just a bit more light. Nothing. Not a sausage. How is that possible? Oh well. Oh, wrong button. Keep doing that. Um. Oh, that's really annoying. How are we not damaging this thing? That's all I want to know. Literally all I want to know is how we are not doing any damage to this. Um, 
have a look. Five hundred, six hundred, no, six thousand, yeah, that's too far. Too short. Let's try that. That might be about right. That is about right. Well, this is really irritating. Um, don't seem to be doing any damage, I don't think. Right, well, I think we're going to stop because we're clearly not doing anything to the ship. So let's go bloody hell. What are these guys doing? Uh, um, I want to... I wanna, oh. Ah, let me off the gun. I don't like the gun anymore. Um, don't glitch, game. Oh, thank God. I was starting to have a mild panic there. It has crashed already tonight, so let's get back up. I say we just get out of here. Um, but first of all, let's have a look at the map, more importantly. Uh, this is the thing I'm after. Oh! Nearly. We've nearly done it. We've probably got to sink one more ship. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to we're just gonna get out of here, guys. Because I need to find a merchant or something. Um, torpedoes. Torpedo chip 2. Torpedo. What have I got left? I've basically got one torpedo in the bum left. So yeah, we need to get out of here, guys, and um, find a merchantman, I think. Hey, guys, so we escaped, um, and now I think we're just going to zigzag down here, I think. And hopefully we'll come across something. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's move this. Just move these a wee bitty. Getting a bit overzealous there. Uh, move that one in. Take this one down here. Make these zigzags a little bit bigger. Cover the most water. And I really think one more ship and we're done this part, which would be great because I'm pretty, I'm convinced we've sunk more vessels in this. Um, time is it uh am i gonna continue yeah we'll try and sink another video uh, another video another vessel in this video guys hey guys let's see where we've got to so there's an escort there sunk the yeah so, we're going to get out of here, because there's nothing here, guys. Um, nothing in this harbour. We've sunk everything in the Tyne. There's nothing up in Blythe. Um, so, I think... Let's have a look. I've probably still got a tiny amount to do on that, but... Um, I need to get out of here, guys. So, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to get out of dodge and i think i'll leave it there for that episode guys and um i'll see you again in episode five and um, this will probably go up at some point this week i would have thought once i once i edit it so anyway guys thanks for watching and i hope you're enjoying the series and um and if you're liking it please hit that sub button and please hit the like button because it helps me out quite a lot okay bye